Chapel here in the Garden, Gethsemane Community Fellowship Baptist Church. And I'm here, y'all, because we are celebrating 31 years. Yes, that's right. It's our anniversary, and we're going all out with passion and purpose. And this morning, I'm so excited to have with me the founder of our great ministry, along with his love of his life, Miss Sharon Daphne Houston. That's right. They're here because they're going to tell us how to center ourselves and get ready for this great celebration. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's so glad to see both of you, Pastor Houston, Sister Houston. Um, just tell me, you know, you've been leading this dynamic church uh, for some time now, 31 years. Tell me, what are some of the memories that you have about our ministry? What stands out to you? Well, certainly one of the things that stands out is the 35-member group that came together on September 1st, 1992, and said, yes, we received that vision, and we're committing ourselves to this, and uh, trusting God and following our leadership. And uh, I remember that night as though it was yesterday. Wow. And I'm so glad they said yes. Um, so tell me, what um, about Gethsemane, um, you know, reaching out to people with the saving love and uh, power of Jesus Christ, that's been our mission for so long. But tell me, Pastor, uh, what are you most excited about um, in this season of Gethsemane's existence? Well, I, I think in every season, God is doing something powerful and something powerfully different. And uh, one of the tendencies we all have is to kind of look back at past successes and uh, we can miss the destiny that's before us. And so I'm most excited about how God desires to use us in new and different ways to bless and minister to the community. Okay, thank you for that. Now, with that in mind, what's the message that you have for the church um, during the anniversary time? Going all out with passion and purpose. And those two words, passion and purpose, are very, very important. Because if you're passionate without purpose, it does no good. If you have purpose but no passion, you can't fulfill the purpose. And so I want us to be passionate and purposeful as we go all out. Wow, thank you so much. Now, Sister Houston, what are some of the events that we can look forward to during anniversary month? Well, um, I think we have so much. One of the things I'll, I'll start by saying is Gethsemane is good at celebrating. And so this year, our 31st year, there are so many things that are going on. So, of course, on Friday, we just had one of the best. Uh, prayer and devotion and communion uh, this past Friday and um, it was such an awesome moment and time for us to get together and then coming up we're going to have our uh, play, our drama play by our, uh, our uh, leaders who are coming out doing some wonderful, I think the name of it is um, yeah, Mama Beulah is gone home, and so we're having that, and then always um, our picnic or our cookout, take over the block cookout that we're uh, planning to have um, on the 23rd of, August, uh, of September. So some more exciting things are coming out, coming up. Wow, you know, it makes my heart so glad because we're focused on celebrating, but as usual, our ministry stays focused on how we can give back and always constantly thinking about others. So thank you so much for leading such a great ministry, and thank you so much, Pastor Cecil Houston, for all that you do. Thank you. All thank right, you. ready to celebrate. Thank, thank you. you. And up next, we have coming to us um, an individual who serves currently as the coordinator of the college, the young adult and college ministry here in the garden, Mr. Tyler Pleasant. Welcome, Tyler. Hello, hello. Hello. So tell, tell us, how long have you been serving in this role? Um, just before the pandemic, um, Pastor KT asked me to come on. I've been serving ever since. All right, all right. And I know you kind of serve with a lot of passion. Yes, I definitely love it. Um, just getting the college students together and showing people that uh, we could come together at a young age and praise God all together. We could do it. All right. Now, now tell me what you enjoy most about this role. Um, just seeing the fellowship, um, the fellowship um, of our young people getting together, the different ideas, the bright ideas that people have when we can come together and be like-minded and sit at the table and plan and execute. 
you know, I, that's something that I respect and regard highly too, that our, our leaders um, make a, a concerted, intentional effort to involve our youth in all the decisions and things that we do here in the garden. Now, you know, like I do, that the youth, the young adults, and the college students are an important part of our ministry. Um, what can they expect during anniversary month? Um, this month, um, on Sunday the 24th, we have our college day service at our 8.30 and 11 o'clock service. And also following service at 5 p.m., we're going to the oceanfront. We're going to do our baptism on the beach again. It was a really, really big, successful event last year. Um, we had 15 lives um, go under and come back up brand new. Um, we had people coming who didn't even register, who wanted to be saved, people coming from um, just watching and saying, hey, what are you guys doing? How can we get involved? So it was a really good event, and we're looking to do it again. That's excellent, Tyler, and I love so much that even when we're celebrating, the church stays focused on saved souls, Absolutely. stays focused on developing those healthy families so we can have great, healthy communities. Sounds like it's going to be an exciting time. Now, you know that September is anniversary month, but it's also back to school time for our youth and our college students are back at school. Are we partnering with any of the local colleges? Yes, absolutely. So um, we're always at Norfolk State. Um, on Tuesday nights, they have Christian Student Fellowship. And so we go over there, we do Bible study with them at seven o'clock. And then with Ebony Impact, which is um, ODU's Gospel Choir, um, we're also over there on Thursdays at 7 o'clock. We also do Bible study with them as well and reach out to some of the other surrounding colleges. Excellent. Exciting events. Any closing thoughts as we prepare to kick off and continue, I should say, our celebration? I'm just excited. Um, happy anniversary, um, Get 70. I'm just excited to see what's to come and be involved with everything that's here. Oh, thank you so much, and thank you for serving in the garden. Thank you. And welcome, Brother thank Reginald Brown. You. Thank you, thank you. I have to say, I'll throw this in, one of his many talents, y'all, is crab casserole. <laughs> I had some this morning. Oh, my goodness, I didn't think I was going to be able to do this work after I had that good old crab casserole, but here I am. <laughs> I want to thank you for that talent. But tell me, Brother Brown, how long have you been a member here in the garden? I uh, joined Gethsemane back in 2007. Okay, okay. So 16 years. Yeah, and you've been a busy bee here in the garden. Um, we can find him many places leading, but one of the things that you do here in the garden, I know that you um, head up the culinary ministry. Yes, yes. And tell me, what is it that you love most about this church? Oh, gosh, the people, the spirit of God that reigns here. Um, it's just refreshing to come to church and enjoy worship. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Now, listen, so um, talked about your crab casserole, talked about the culinary, culinary ministry, but tell me, um, I understand that you are one of the writers and co-producers of a stage play called Miss Beulah Done Gone Home. Mother Beulah Done, Mother Beulah 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 Done, Done Gone, Gone Home. Home. Now, what I need to know is can you give us a quick synopsis of this play and tell us what inspired you to co-produce and write this play? Okay. Yes, um, the play again is called Mother Beulah Done Gone Home, and it's about a church mother, Mother Beulah, who inspires the, min the ministry to continue on with saved souls, devoted disciples, strong families, and healthy communities. And she presses that through the entire church experience. But then towards the end of Act One, she is gone. Or is she? So we need you all to come out and support us on Friday, September 15th at 7 p.m. for Mother Beulah Done Gone Home. Okay, well, thank you so much, Brother Reggie. Thank you. I like how you left that cliffhanger now. <laughs> yeah, we, we gotta be you. present if we wanna know. Yes, yeah, true. And also we wanna plug in, if anyone is a vendor, we are gonna have food vendors that evening. The doors will open at 6 p.m. So if you wanna come from work and grab a bite to eat and enjoy the program, we also have vendors for items such as jewelry and apparel. So please come out, bring the whole family. It's a family fun event. And we thank you all for your attention. Now, Brother Reggie, is there a cost to come in? Oh, it, it's complimentary. It's free here at the garden. All right. Thank all right. you so much. Thank, and thank you. you for serving in the garden. Oh, thank you. All right. So you don't want to miss it. We want to see your face in the place for this riveting stage play, Mother Beulah Done Gone Home. And you know what? We've got somebody else who is coming to the stage. It's Miss Jasmine Jefferson. Come on, Jasmine. So glad to see you this Hi, morning. Hi. Now listen, 
Tell me, how long have you been a member here at Gethsemane? Oh, goodness. Um, I was just thinking about that. I've been here just about 16 years now. Wow. Yeah, you've had some babies that's been in the children's <laughs> choir. And you've got some more that are coming up to be in the children's <laughs> choir. I got some new singers for you. Yes, you do. <laughs> so tell me, Jasmine, what do you love most about our church? I have to say um, one of my favorite things is that warm welcome that you receive when you come through the door. It doesn't matter if you've been here, if you're a first time visitor or if you've been here for years upon years, when you come through that door, the welcome that you receive, it's the same always. It's the welcome that drew me in years ago and it's that welcome that keeps me coming back. And on those days when I have to really press through to be here, it's that welcome that I look forward to and I'm always grateful that I came because of that welcome. Wow, I think you know a lot of people share that sentiment. Thank you so much. Now tell me, reaching out to people with the saving love and power of Jesus Christ, that's our way. So I know this year we're going to have our annual community day. Tell that's us right. about it. That's right. Our annual community day is this year. It's going to be on September the 23rd. Um, the doors open to the community at 1130. The event starts at noon. And we're going to have uh, some amazing events that you guys are normally used to seeing at our community day. Now, we heard last year that everyone enjoyed the food options that we had last year. So I'm happy to say that a lot of those food options are coming back this year. And just to name some of those, we have Touch of Jamaica, D. Lynn's Catering, The Tasting Spoon, Lisa B's Kettle Corn, Ziggy Street Eats, T's Fun Foods, and Bubba Shrimp Shack. Wow. Wow. Get excited. I'm really excited. You know you're <laughs> going to see my face in the place. And you know, not only are we going to be enjoying fun and food and fellowship, but it's an, also a time where we can minister and we can walk out and live out what we believe in. Um, those principles of healthy communities. And this is one way that we can ensure that that happens. So That's right. Thank you so much, Jasmine. And thank you for serving in the garden. My pleasure. Thank you. All right. All right, Saints, you heard it. There's a lot going on in the garden, celebrating 31 years of all-out ministry, and we're doing it with purpose and passion.